When you think about editing images and creating really cool photos and artwork, Photoshop is one of the first tools that comes to my mind. But, Photoshop can be a bit cost prohibitive if you're a student, or even a teacher, or a school district. So there are alternatives out there that are very, very useful. One is called GIMP, which is an open source product that lets you edit uh, photos very simply by using some of the similar tools that Photoshop has to offer. But one that's come about even more recently is called Sumo Paint. Now, Sumo Paint is available as a download program, which you can get from their website. But what I love even more about it is that you don't even have to download any software just to start playing. You can click over here to open up the Sumo Paint Painter, which opens up a Flash-based website, and it allows you to paint very, very, very amazing artwork without having a lot of complex downloads, and with using the same tool set as you would find in Photoshop for the most part. So, for instance, let's take a brief tour. Those of you that are familiar with Photoshop or have at least seen it can see how similar this is in terms of the setup. On the lower right, you'll see over here that it utilizes layers. So, very similar to Photoshop, you can create different layers of each picture. It has a very full-featured tool set over here on the left-hand side, including some tools that Photoshop doesn't seem to have. So, to start off, I'll just do a quick sample. You can use a dry brush, and I can show you what that looks like. Let me just draw out a little uh, character over here. I don't know if that's a dog or something, but whatever. Um, okay, I'm going to change my brush. Now this is oil brush. I can write out high. And you can see how great this is. To change the color, click on the color palette over here. I can pick out the nice Edgetecker blue. And, um, oops, I didn't select it. That's all right. So again, you can pick out any color you'd like. Very simply, say OK. Give it another whirl. All right. So we can do a lot of stuff over here, some basics, different types of pens, different types of brushes. What I really like are these tools here. For instance, this will allow you to, you can change the fill up on top. Um, let's do something different other than this gradient. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to make a pie and I can make one quarter or I could have my students make three quarters. And very, very easily, I can create different graph shapes. You know, what, what portion is this? What percentage is that? Very, very cool math tool. In addition, there are these other shapes that I find interesting. You can do all sorts of cool, um, like, pictograph type of, of shapes over here. And this one is great for symmetry. You can see that you can make six points of symmetry. I'm going to change it to five points of symmetry. And um, I'm just going to start drawing over here, and you'll see that it's creating a symmetrical artistic piece. This is a really, really impressive program, especially now that you realize that I'm only on the web. There's nothing downloaded on my machine. So it's very, very easy to use, very, very full features. You'll notice even under the file, you can save this to your computer, save it to your Sumo account if you set one up, save it to your, um, you can actually save it as a URL, you could open it up as a URL, import to a different layer, send as an email. There's a whole host of things you could do. And looking under filters, 3D filters, lots of great things. If you notice, I just turned the whole document into a sphere. And now I'm drawing on top of the sphere. Very, very cool tool, and there's a great gallery that goes along with it where you could see what other true artists have created using this program. So be sure to check out Sumo Paint. It is an amazing art drawing program, and think of it as the free online version of Photoshop. All right, enjoy.